Welcome back. That's what the SGX is suggesting, and here come our first trades. How long will we trade is the big question. The market will open, but will it open for very long, uh, the way the signals are, or will we be stuck or frozen in circuit seconds after opening? That's the big question. Uh, will the Asian weakness restrain our up move, or is it a done deal, the first circuit up? Uh, will it move? Where will it move from there? 1,300 points higher on the Sensex. We are circuit up straight away. I don't think we need to look at the markets again. Uh, we are frozen on circuit. <laughs> for the first time, I think in our history, we've got a circuit up for our markets. I can't see a nifty rate out here, but the Sensex is done. The nifty 530 Five points, 15 percent. Can we get there? Uh, I don't know, but it's 15 percent higher on the nifty. The first rate where it's opened up at 4200 nifty, which means that even if you scale back to 10 percent up for the first circuit, you're actually looking at 15% higher out here. So the first rate has come in actually at the second circuit, both for the Sensex and for the Nifty. So forget one circuit, 10%. You're starting the day 15% higher uh, for the Nifty, which means even after trade opens, perhaps you could look at the prospect of a two-hour break because of the 15% circuit getting hit. There's no more trade, of course. Uh, it's all shut. And every stock that I can see on the screen has moved up to ridiculous levels. Uh, HDFC 20% higher, ICICI Bank 20% higher, LNT 20% higher, DLF 20% higher, Reliance opened 18% higher at 2300. Uh, of course, picking up RPL with it, Axis Bank 17%, State Bank of India 15%, even TCS. Did we say that technology will not move? Infosys up 15%, TCS up 15%. So today is a broad brush kind of an opening, straight away off the bat a circuit up for the market. That's 4,200 Nifty. Yes, I mean, we've never said this uh, ever since this channel started, at least, that we've had an up circuit in the market. But that's where we are. Where We are We are frozen up because the Nifty is open 15% and there's no trade right now, of course. The first trade took us to a one-hour halt. So for the next one hour, there will be no trading because of what has happened on the screen. It is 13,500 Sensex straight off the cuff and 4,200. I think it would be uh, instructive to find out what the NSC will do next because what we are seeing on the screen is a second circuit up. Does it mean we don't trade for two hours now or will it open once after one hour and let the second circuit be hit on the NFT? We don't know but it looks like we are headed for a two hour kind of freeze on the opening for the large caps. Mid caps crazy? Sweet Lord. <laughs> First of all, it's okay. We're okay with a two hour break when it's of this kind. I don't think the mid cap index even got a chance to react. The Nifty Junior is up or was up 11% last tick I got, but the mid caps kind of just stood over there and froze for a second. So everything is up 20% almost. GVK Power and Infra up 20% last tick. ITI, there's been a lot of talk about how some of these Chota PSUs might get restructured, etc. So ITI was up circuit. Um, from fertilizer, RCF was up circuit 20%, IFCI was up 20%, this is getting boring almost, Punch Lloyd was up 19%, not a single stock in the red this morning on the top traded counters by way of volumes, but then we've halted for trade right now, and the last tick that I got on the Nifty Junior was up 10%, spectacular performance, by the way, there was a big burst of volumes for the futures and option side as well, just with the opening trade, they did 900 crores flat, so let's see what we do when we open up. Quite amazing stuff. Uh, this is quite amazing. Uh, never seen it. How often do you say that you're seeing something for the first time in a stock market? How often? Uh, but today is that, that kind of morning. Uh, the result was surprising over the weekend for sure. And this is not surprising the reaction. But who would have thought last week that we would go up 15% in 60 seconds of trade? And that's what has happened. This is an endorsement of the markets love for the verdict which has come in over the weekend the market just loves it it believes things will be done and we certainly hope the government picks up this confidence that has been reposed to it by the stock market this morning there is no ambiguity about the reaction it's not like five six percent new buyers came in and then it slowly moved towards ten percent it was fifteen percent up from the word go that's as big an opening that you've had so this is a big thumping thumbs up from the market uh, and it's been the kind of reaction that you would have expected. And now we get back in the game at 10.55, <laughs> evidently, but um, wow. <laughs> wow is the word. Uh, yeah. And unexpectedly wow. You know, the result was unexpected. And this was last week, everybody was saying, you know, our poll should be drawn up. 80% said we'll be in cash. 
Twenty-five percent said we'll be short before the event. Nobody long. <laughs> zero, zero, zero. Nobody yeah. said there will be long before the event, and that's the market for you. If you are not long, you were wrong, and if you were short, you were dead. At least for the day, you are dead. And I remember discussing on Saturday with some of our research team <laughs> members about you know what would have happened if uh, the rea the result. The counting had happened on a Friday or a Monday, but it doesn't matter, right? What's happening with the global context today? This is ambiguously two thumbs up. Absolutely, yeah. and a fabulous result. Uh, but I still uh, think, Mithali, that a lot of people are feeling bad this morning. You know, but uh, most are, I think. Well, not yeah. most, but some people nee, nee, for sure, <laughs> sure. I mean, a lot of people probably got invested, and in probably towards the end. You know, I think w people are feeling really happy are people who bought post ten and a half thousand because they would have been nervous. I mean, they were coming in late into the rally after missing. The first fifty, sixty percent, or for the ride from eight thousand to ten and a half thousand, that breakout above thirty-one fifty Nifty took a while, and a lot of people got in then between thirty-two hundred and thirty-five hundred. I think they are feeling really happy today because they could have gone wrong. They could, the market could easily have gone yeah. back to thirty-two hundred, but now it's at forty-two hundred, and they're saying, you know, we got in late, but thank God we got in. The guys who are really hurting, who are saying that 3,700 is the top for this market, it cannot take 3,800 out, and therefore we should be booking out, not getting in, and they're feeling lousy because who knows? Maybe the market will make them buy at 42 to 4,500. So yeah, a lot of people are feeling pretty bad this morning, despite the euphoria. It also makes you want to pray really hard to the people in Delhi, saying, guys, please, this time round, you know, do something good. We've been on our knees for two years. Two. Just Yeah, two. Five, About I think. Two. Five. No, no, no. The bear market. I okay, mean, yeah. that. But you know, for the praying for action from the government has been five years <laughs> of a wait. And yeah, and some. As somebody said it a few years or months back, that just put a big Nike swoosh outside the parliament right now <laughs> and say, guys. Now you can do it. Just do it. Don't make us wait for another year. Saying this time we just cobbled a budget together. Next budget we'll do well because the market's patience will be tested. Then it's been five long years. Uh, Anand Tandon, what? Fourteen and a half thousand looks like it's going to happen this morning. The way it's going, how do you approach it now? Well, then if it does happen, you know, like I said, uh, I would take some money off the table because no matter what, the fact of the matter is that at some stage there is, uh, uh, you know, there is, there are other factors other than just liquidity and euphoria which come into play. You will miss some part of the upside perhaps from then on. But you know, frankly, I don't think that it will happen just yet. It will take a couple of days because you need to get real money into the system. As you pointed out, it opened up uh, so much that you know, unless you are already invested in it, uh, you are not really looking at. Uh, nobody uh, fresh could have got in uh, even half a trade in. So until unless the, uh, the money actually comes in and people do get invested, uh, you know, I think uh, you would find that uh, there has to be some trading which will allow you to do that. Sadiq, forget about all that. Have you ever seen this before in your uh, lifetime in the stock market? A circuit up? No, definitely not. It's a, it's a great feeling. I don't think it will last for long. I think uh, you know, if the market continues like this, you know, everyone who has uh, head on his shoulders should be should be selling out. So I just uh, just hope that uh, we come off. So. What do you tell your clients now, Sandeep? They, they must be working the phones this morning. They didn't get a look in this morning when the circuit opens up. And do you buy then after a 10% circuit, or even if it's a 15% circuit, or you say just hold your horses now? We've missed it for the moment. Don't buy after 15%. Uh, let's wait, wait and watch. No, I don't think there's any sense to chase this market. You know, I I have been highlighting that this market will surprise. You know, when I was on your show just two weeks ago, I was saying that the market will continue to rally. Uh, we do see a lot of flows coming in. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that the flows this year will continue to surprise. Look, we have to get one thing clear: more than 100% of the global growth in this year will come from emerging markets, which will primarily be in China and India. Next year, more than 50% of the growth will come from uh, the emerging markets. Uh, the portfolio now has to be positioned from deflation to reflation, and all the plays that uh, benefit in a reflation, reflationary environment have to be. Uh, You know, have to be in your portfolio. As far as the rest of the world is concerned, I I agree with the uh, the comments made by other people on the show. I think we are in dire straits across Europe and in the U.S. And as far as these countries are concerned, uh, you know, uh, it will take maybe two years at the very least, if not more than two years, maybe five to ten years. I think the global maps are getting redrawn. Uh, what the electorate has uh, handed out to the current government is a fantastic once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I just hope we don't blow this away. 
because uh, there's a lot of things which can be done which uh, which despite the fact that the congress uh, may not want uh, to do outright privatization there's a lot of assets that can be sold and the balance sheet can uh, you know the balance sheet of the government can come into play and uh, create an environment environment for sustained low interest rates and this is something which uh, more than anything else will drive consumption investment demand and gdp growth and tax revenue buoyancy so in the next two years if we do the right things in the next 6 to 9 months we are back to easily 9% growth rates and which is what the market is hoping and betting on and let's hope that these bets uh, you know don't fall flat